One of Sydney's last piggeries is being forced to hoof it to make way for the South West Rail Link. The state government is, has acquired one third of the property. The owners say that will kill their business and they're now fighting for compensation. Nicole Chettle reports. This little piggy's facing eviction. The South West Rail Link near Sydney will transform this semi-rural area into a state-of-the-art transport hub. And that spells the end for a farm that's been here since the 60s. They're not interested in our situation at all. We're just a little insect in the way of development in Sydney South West. The rear of the property is used to process effluent and that's been seized for the rail line, crippling a business that turns over close to $2 million in sales a year. The government says it's not responsible. They're saying the farm that you've set up and the food that you are producing is insignificant and of no value, so we're going to interfere with it and we're not going to pay you anything. That's not good enough. The problem is the land behind me now belongs to the government and the farmers could face environmental fines of up to a million dollars simply for doing what they've always done for the past 50 years. In an industry dominated by imports, the meat here is processed on site. Waste is used to grow pasture, worms and make potting mix. And the pigs themselves are pathogen free, being used for medical research, even transplants. We're left in no man's land. We're just sterilised in our business at the moment. Do we give up or die? I think that's what the people at the government want us to do. The state government says it's committed to looking at property rights, but that's cold comfort for David Bly, who knows his business can't survive, but has no compensation to start over and no clue as to just when he'll be forced to close for good. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.